Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV on the Xbox One console. This is Greenwich Valley episode number 18. Thanks for stopping by folks. As promised in the last video, in the, the last episode we're going to learn how to do something a little bit differently here today. You can see that our soybeans are planted and they will be ready for harvest on the first day of autumn or the second or third day. Either way, we should get those done uh, sometime before the winter. The sheep are doing good. They've stopped producing wool because the spring is over and apparently they you can only shave them in the spring. So either way, today we're going to learn how to flip fields. So if any of you don't know what that means or have never heard of field flipping, it's much like house flipping. You buy an old rundown house, you fix it up and you sell it at a profit. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to flip some fields. We're going to look for two fields that are already ready to harvest that are owned by other farmers like this field here, number 12. Uh, we're going to buy this field. Now, what we're going to have to do is because this field is $250,000 almost and we've only got 67, we're going to have to visit the bank, which means we're going to have to take out a buttload of money. So let's do that really quickly. We will just uh, max out the bank loans. Uh, don't be don't be worried folks uh, we're gonna pay this back uh, it's just a short-term loan for now let's buy field number 12 and we will go and harvest field number 12 while it's in the harvesting stage then we're going to sell all the crops keep all the money and then we're gonna sell the field back to someone else it's genius and it's completely legal it's house flipping but for farmers so then we're going to use the sale of the field to pay back the loan. And then if we can get this done in one day, there's no interest, there's no penalties. And we pretty much just use the bank as a middleman to further our farming needs. So we're only down to, we're down to $3,000. So this is cutting it close. Um, yeah, so we are in, again, dire, dire straits with uh, the cash situation we've got to get rid of the wheat that's left over in the harvester from the uh the last episode there's only uh, 500 liters of wheat in there so we've got to get rid of that before we can put uh, the oats or the barley or whatever's in that field that we're going to be harvesting let's try and maneuver this without uh, pulling the tipper out there we go got it can we get the rest of it perfect there we go and there's no need to pull out the tipper to empty out the harvester. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing today, folks. We are going to flip a couple of fields, sell a bunch of crops, sell the fields back to other farmers so they can continue their farming life. And that puts us uh, a little bit ahead. So hopefully we can make uh, a few thousand dollars from this. And then look at either buying some more sheep for the spring or... Um, maybe we can flip a grass field and actually what we need to do is buy a silo so we need to buy a silo that's sorry that's number one uh, we're gonna use the proceeds from the field flipping to buy a silo that holds grass because no matter what I do um, where I park that loading wagon full of grass it always empties out the next day because the grass just seems to disappear it doesn't matter if it's in an, in an enclosure behind a gate behind a wall in a closed shed it still keeps disappearing and is driving me nuts so that is going to be the plan for this episode flip some fields buy a silo cut some grass store some grass and then the sheep should be good for years to come because we're going to load up the silo with a crap ton of grass all right so while we're on our way to field number 12 uh, if you have not done so already folks Click that subscribe button for me in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You'll see the subscribe button there. Click that for me. That would be greatly appreciated. Drop a like on this video and then ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time a video gets uploaded. You don't want to miss anything. Then come and follow us on all of our social media campaigns. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Patreon. There is even a link there for a uh, PayPal donation. If you feel so inclined to send a donation my way, that'd be great. Remember, folks, donations are never expected, but always appreciated. And you may even earn yourself a video shout out should I receive something in the PayPal account. And there's also another link there, for, a new link from Sprizzy.com. If you're looking to promote your own YouTube channel, 
and uh, maximize your exposure. Check out sprizzy.com with the link below to receive a, a special discount on your first purchase. Then when you're done that, go and check out the featured channel section of my YouTube channel. You'll see four excellent farming simulator YouTubers there. Mr. Least Square Gaming, Deuce MS, Carl Johnson Gaming, and Mr. Crazy Simulator. Go and check out those four gentlemen. Like their videos and subscribe to their channels. You won't be disappointed. All right, now that that is all out of the way, we have arrived at field number 12. This is our field now. We own it. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest. We're going to harvest. We're going to sell the crops. And then we're going to sell the field. But what we're going to do is maximize everything here. So we are harvesting what? Let's see what goes into the harvester. I always forget. Oats. So we're going to turn. We're going to disable the straw swath. And there we go. Perfect. And we're going to bale up all of this straw. And we're going to sell the bales as well to get more money. Because it's free money that's just sitting there. And then once all the bales are done, we'll sell the field back to the farmer. And uh, maximize our profits. Now, we could have just accepted the harvesting contract, but then we probably only would have made about $10,000. So, here we are. Uh, while the harvesting is going on, we're swapping out the baler. So, we don't require the round baler because there is actually a much cheaper John Deere square baler. Um, so, we drove the baler all the way here because if you bring your equipment back to the store and park it in the square, you get 10% more than what the price lists in your inventory. So there we go. It was a $59,000 return for the baler, but we made $71,000. $71, and the John Deere baler that we're going to purchase right now is only $12,000. I think, I think it's 12. It's either 12 or 17. I can't remember. Let's go have a look. Uh, baler, baler, who's got the baler? There it is right there. It's $12,000 and it produces 4,000 pound bales, square bales. So there we go. We don't need to change all the wheels or anything. So we made 71 and we spent 12. So now we've got a profit of $63,000 just by swapping out the baler, which is fantastic. Because now we are even further ahead of where we want to be because we are recycling some equipment for cheaper stuff that does the same job. So that's fantastic. Let's drive the baler over to the field number 12 and then we'll see how the harvesting is going and we should be just about done let's have a look all right so here is the last load of oats going into the tipper right now and then we can go and sell all of these oats then we can bale up all of the straw and sell the bales so now what we had to do is off camera we did swap out the bale trailer as well because we did have the round bale trailer if you remember from previous episodes. So obviously we had to swap it out for the square bale trailer. And uh, that was all done off camera. There's no really big hoo hoopla, look at the swapping of the bale trailer. We didn't really need to see that. Alright, so let's go and sell these oats. Do, 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 do. Let's go sell the oats. All right, and here we are arriving at the sell point for the oats. Let's just offload these. Let's watch the money roll in. All right. Now, remember, all of these dollar figures are fictitious at the moment because we do have to sell the field and pay back the loan. So it doesn't really matter what we're at now. It's going to matter what we're at when we sell the field so that we can see just where we start. Now remember, before we took out that ginormous bank loan, we were at $63,000. That's going to be the, uh, the return point. As long as we make more, or we end up with more than 63000 life will be good. So let's, uh, let's see how this plays out. We're at ninety four right now. All right, so here is the sales, the sales of the bales going into the uh, the barn and it looks like we're getting uh, what 4600 bucks a load and there are numerous loads of bales so here's the first one going into the barn it's 4600 here is another load of bales going into the barn there's another 4600 we're at 103,000 now looking good shaping up so far we've made $40,000 but let's wait and see what happens with the uh, sale of the field 
Here's another load of bales. There was a lot of bales in field number 12, folks. I'm not going to lie. There was quite a bit. All right. And I think that was the last one. So now we are at field number 115. This is the second field. Uh, the second field that was ready to harvest, field number 115. But first, we have got to sell field 112, or sell field 12 before we can buy 115. So let's go up here real quick. Now that it's harvested, we own it. Now we're going to sell it. Goodbye field. And now we've just made, let's see here, doo -doo -doo, we're going to pay back the loan. So we've got to pay back $180,000. That's what we took out for the loan uh, to buy Field 12. So $180,000 going back into the bank, paying back the loan in full that we used to buy Field number 12. And now we're going to reloan again to buy Field number 115. So you would see we're at $177,000. So minus the 60 that we used initially as our investment, we made $100,000. $110,000. So now we need to buy field number 115, which is $367,000. So we're going to go back to the bank. We're going to take out an even larger loan to buy uh, field number 115. So just about $240,000 is what we need. And luckily, the bank trusts us because we paid back that loan in a matter of hours. I'm not sure why the bank loves us. We literally just gave them no interest whatsoever but that's okay it worked out to our advantage now we can purchase field number 115 for three hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars all right done and now we can harvest field number 115 and there is a considerable amount of crops here way more than on field 112 or 112 on field 12 more crops on here, there's the leftover bales from field 12. We're just going to stack those up and then uh, rebale this as well because now we're harvesting barley. All right, and because this field is so big, let's just skip to the end, shall we? Here is the last truckload of barley going into the cell point. I can't remember where we are exactly. It doesn't matter. It's the place that's selling, it's the place that's buying the most, or paying the most for barley anyway. All right, so let's offload this, and then we can, uh, let me see, we're at $49,000, so $17,000 harvest. Remember, this $17,000 is all profit. It does not come off the top, because uh, we're going to use the sale of the field to pay back the loan, and that's not going to cost us anything. All right, so $17,000 harvest for the barley. Now we've got a lot of... Of bales to make out of all of that straw that is on field number 115 you'll see it all here in a minute because we have to drive directly past it doo, 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 doo. nice little drive through the countryside there we go look at all of that straw we are gonna get a lot of bales out of all of that straw all right yeah so we just have to drive the tipper and the tractor back to the field here and then hook up the baler and then bale up all the straw. All right, if you have not downloaded the uh, John Deere baler that I'm using, um, I strongly suggest that it's only $12,000 as opposed to like $109,000 for the Coon Square baler, which does the exact same thing. So it's probably in your best interest to, uh, to download. Whoops hit my own trailer it's probably in your best interest to download that John Deere baler mod it is uh, way cheaper and it does the exact same thing and I appear to be trying to hook up to the baler on the wrong side yep the hitch is on the other end of the baler what was I thinking let's drive the tractor around to this end and then we'll try this because this should be a little bit easier there we go Let's get in there. Perfect. And there's already some straw in there, so we're just going to continue baling, and then we're going to continue selling all of the bales. And then once all that is done, 
we can flip the field back to someone else for the full purchase price and then pay back the loan and then we can sit back and look at all of our profits and you can do this multiple times you can do this all day long as long as there's fields that are ready to harvest and you have the means to purchase them purchase harvest and then sell it's uh it's kind of better than doing contract work i don't know it's just what uh, what we're doing this episode i guess all right here is the end of the bales all right so this is uh another load of bales going in and i don't think the price of bales have changed yep we're still at forty six hundred dollars that's good so there's one load of bales here is another load of bales going in to the barn there we go there's another 4600 and here is yet another load of bales so that's three load of bales now from this uh, one field we had three on the last uh, on field 12 so that's three for 115 and here is another load of bales so that's four we're up to 67,000 now looking good not bad at all here's another load of bales we are just crazy bailing today there is lots of stuff to do mainly bailing and here's the last the last of the bales going in for a whopping thirteen hundred dollars or twelve hundred dollars and that's it the bailing is now complete so we're sitting at seventy three thousand dollars before we sell that field and pay back the loan so let's go and do that we've got to bring the bale trailer back to the farm which is just up here now we're only doing this because uh, on this particular day of the year there's really nothing to do there was only those two farming contracts i didn't feel like doing the fertilizing contracts our soybean fields that we're passing right now on your right have all been seeded and fertilized we're just waiting for germination to complete um, right now they're in the planted stage so there's not really much we can do with the soybeans uh, the way they sit at this point in the calendar year so we're just playing the waiting game hopefully in another day or two another episode or two they will be in the first or second stage of growing and we should be able to fertilize again all right now i think uh what i want to do is well we want to purchase that silo that holds grass but we're going to need grass to put it in so i was already looking uh off camera at a couple of grass fields that we can flip uh, we're just going to buy the grass field mow the grass store the grass and then sell the field back so it's not really going to cost us anything except for fuel because we are keeping the grass in the silo so i think that's what the uh, the next stage of the plan is well the next stage is to bring back all of the equipment and uh, we're gonna have to throw a quick repair job on this tractor as well because it's uh ouch it took a lot of work i did smack it around a little bit uh, off camera i hit numerous things um, that you probably would have scoffed at and uh, criticized my driving ability but uh, we're kind of in a rush to get this done i've got a lot of things going on today all right uh let's see here gas yes we needed gas too let's go get some fuel we'll take care of that and then we should be ready to rock can't run out of gas actually you know what i've never run out of gas on fs19 so i don't really know what happens does your tractor or equipment just stop and then it's up to you to get it to where it's going i guess you could just hit the reset button but uh how realistic would that be if you just reset it back to the shop it would still be out of gas though i think right so resetting it back to the shop really wouldn't do anything you'd have to get some sort of fuel to that piece of equipment anyways we've never run out of gas so i don't think we're in any danger of running out of gas uh i do a pretty good job of keeping an eye on the gas meter let's get all the equipment back to the farm there we go the harvester is coming back we are done with the harvester today he is okay with her maintenance and gas we shouldn't have to fill that up for quite some time so let's just park that back into the shed and i think that's all the harvesting the harvestering <laughs> harvestering that's all the harvestering we're going to be doing today let me just park that right beside our brand new john deere baler we'll use that for the uh, silage bales as well but we'll have to pick up a silage bale wrapper at some point but we'll worry about that later 
All right, let's just go and check out. Let's just go stand over here for some random reason. And then we'll check out the map. Where's the map? Uh, do, 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 do. There we go. All right, so 115 is all harvested. We're going to sell 115. And then we're going to use that 367,000 to pay back the 240,000 that we borrowed. So already you can see that there's going to be a lot of profit because 240 is less than 367. All right, let's just pay back the bank. And then we'll see where we're at for money-wise, and then we should be able to buy a uh, grass field of some kind so that we can cut some grass and buy a silo. So we have, wow, we have a lot of money. So flipping two fields, selling all the crops and all the bales, we're $252,000. So that's good because the silo that we want is pretty cheap. It's not that expensive at all. And it's this one right here. The Lizard Steel Multi-Fruit Silo is only $80,000. As opposed to this one for fifty that only holds half as much. This silo here actually holds snow too. So I'm not sure why we would want to store snow. But it stores grass and that's what we need. So this will protect our grass from the elements and it will not deplete when we uh, go to sleep at night and wake up in the morning. And then there's no more grass, which is somewhat disheartening. All right, so let's just smooth this out a little bit with the landscaping tool so the tractor and trailer can get in there okay. Do a little bit of landscaping, smoothing out of the rough edges. All right, let's just go around the whole silo here. We don't want any bumpy surprises when we bring the grass with the tractor up here. There we go, we'll just get that side too. You can see the money going down so you know the landscaping is working and when the money stops, you pretty much can't landscape anymore. It's been landscaped, it's been smoothed. All right, I think I'm happy with that. Perfect. Let's go and have a look at our silo. Now we have a place to store crops too, so that we don't have to sell them right away. So that we can wait for, we can reference the season's geo that we're using, which is uh, Montana, I think. The U.S. Midwest, I'm not sure why we're using that one, but either way, we can store crops now and then sell them at the most appropriate time. All right, so that's field 38. That's the one we wanted to buy. We don't have enough for that, but we're not going to buy any more crop fields right now. We're going to buy a grass field. So we're going to look. I think field number 21 here is in our wheelhouse because we've got 163,000, and that field is full of grass, and it's only not as expensive. But let's look at other ones here just in case there was anything else that was in our price range. I don't think, yeah, I think we're going to go with something that's generally close to the farm. I don't want to stray too far away, like over here and across the street from the sheep pen. That's not a lot of property right there. And 27 we could get, but that would leave us with $1,000. Uh, this one is only 133000 so I think we're going to go with field number 21. We're going to buy that, mow it, wind row it, and store the grass. And then we're just going to sell the field. So with little to no work being done, all we got to do is really cut the lawn, store the grass, and then sell the field. And then we're in the clear. We'll get all of our money back. So with 22000 left to spare, let's go. We've got to go and get the mowers. That's right. Uh, so we got to take the Fent tractor over to the sheep farm, grab the mowers. Oh, a little bit of fish tail there. Yeah, we got to head over here, grab the mowers and the loading wagon. And then we got to mow the grass and store the grass and then we'll sell the field. And that will be it for the field flipping for today, I think, because the amount of grass that we're going to be storing should be enough to feed the sheep for probably just about the entire year or two. Um, thus eliminating the grass sheep problem that we were having before, then we could probably sell that emergency silo that is on our farm that we paid $10,000 for a couple episodes ago to get us through the winter.
because now we will have a reserve grass system to get us out of the winter months which is exactly what we were looking for plus we still have all of this grass in these two fields that need to be mowed but we can uh, save that for another episode because they're not quite ready to mow yet but i want to use this for the silage bale business because that is a good money maker as well so i think that's what we're going to do with those grass fields but the goal here today is just to mow the lawn in field number 21 store the grass sell the field and that's it field flipping 101 if you can borrow money from the bank to get this done then i strongly suggest that i don't strongly i highly suggest that you take up field flipping as a hobby it's just like house flipping but with farm fields instead of homes we're just looking to make a profit trying to get by in life and uh, if you think about it this is realistic because people do this in real life anyway Okay, so let's uh, start off over here. We'll cut as much grass as we can. I want to get right to the edges so that we can get every last blade of grass into that silo. Let's unfold my favorite mowers. And this is only my favorite mower because it's also a wind rower. If you don't use this mower and you're just using the regular coon mower on the back of your uh, tractor, I strongly suggest you switch to this one because it, el it eliminates the need for an entire piece of equipment uh the wind rower you don't need it this automatically wind rows the grass for you all you got to do is drive it's fantastic so that's what we're going to do we're going to mow the entire field and then we are going to pick up all of this grass and store it in the silo and here we go we are now done the mowing we're going to pick up all of the grass and we're going to put it all in the silo for safekeeping and the sheep will be happy. That's my goal, to keep the sheep happy. All right, and here's the end. Here's the end of the pickup. We've got a lot of grass in the silo already, but here is the last little bit in the loading wagon. That's right, we just drove right through our hedges. It's our field right now. We own it, so we can do whatever we want. Of course, when we sell it, we're not going to drive through that nice gentleman's hedges. All right, let's get this grass in the silo. And then I think uh, we will probably be all done. Let's just check and see how much grass we have in here so that we can see and compare just how much. Oh, wow. We got a lot of grass. There's like 180,000 liters of grass in there. And if we look at the sheep menu, the sheep only eat 53,000 liters of grass per year if we maintain 60 sheep. So we've got like three years worth of grass. We don't have to do anything. That's awesome. Now what we have to do is sell the grass field. But we're going to bring the loading wagon back to the sheep first. So we'll sell the, sorry, we'll bring the loading wagon back with a little bit of damage first. We'll bring the loading wagon back to the sheep pen. We'll park that and then we'll sell that grass field. And then we'll be right back to where we started with, uh, I think, $130,000 in sheer profit to start off the next episode with. So who knows what we're going to use that $130,000 for. We could probably buy a couple of more small fields. We can buy a ton of more sheep. Or maybe we can invest in another animal. I'll let, uh, I'll let you guys decide. Leave a comment down below and uh, we'll see what the next episode brings. Maybe we can save up and get some sheep or save up and get some cows some pigs chickens who knows what the future holds for greenwich valley all right you're good in here now we don't have to close the door because the wagon is empty we just have to drive back to our farm here so things are starting to look up for us we've got uh, quite a bit of money in the bank plus we're gonna have more when we sell this grass field in a few moments uh, it was getting pretty bleak there for a little while i wasn't sure if we were actually going to survive but now the bank has come to our rescue and lent us enough money to start a field flipping business which we can pretty much do whenever we want now because uh, we have the trust of the bank now we just have to work on the initial bank loan of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and then uh, we'll be good. All right, so let's get rid of this grass field. We'll get our 133000 back. And now we've got uh, $156,000. That's awesome. 
And that is going to wrap up this episode, folks. Thanks for tuning in. This was Greenwich Valley episode number 18. You're watching Farming Simulator 19, played on the Xbox One console. Thanks for stopping in. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember, folks, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button for me. Drop a like on the video and then ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. For now, this is JCTV saying, see you later.